Soybeans and rice are two of the biggest crops we grow here in Arkansas. Together they account for over four and a half million acres of the cropland in Arkansas. When we look at what's happened over the last month here in Arkansas, farmers got off to a great start planting uh, those two crop, planting rice in particular soybeans. Uh, they're just now getting into full swing and planting that crop. The floods have devastated the, devastated the rice crop. We, we got our first look uh, last week at what the USDA forecast for rice right now. They're still using those, those planting intention uh, numbers that came out at the end of March, which are showing about 500,000 acres less rice here in the United States, which is, which is good given the large stocks that we have. If you live in East Arkansas, you've likely seen big piles of rice. In, uh, in containers and things like that around the, around the state. So those, those big supplies, we're hopefully going to whittle down those, those stocks this year. The USDA is forecasting good demand this year, bring those rice stocks back down to a more manageable level, around 20 million hundred weight for that. The, still forecasting a strong yield in what they came out in their initial estimate. I don't think there's many farmers out there that believe those yields will be quite that strong this year given the, the rough start that this crop had coming out of the ground. Globally, we've still got large supplies of rice out there. The production for rice continues to outpace what the demand is, so those stocks continue to be a, be a little burdensome on the global level, impacting what the prices we see here are. On the soybean side of this, this was expected to be wall-to-wall -wall soybeans this year. With 5.1 million more acres of soybeans going to be planted across the United States. We're going to have uh, three and a half million acres of soybeans, which is something we haven't seen in over a decade in Arkansas. Uh, production, uh, and for, but even with that record uh, production that we're going to see, the yields were going to be off quite a bit from what last year's record were. The USDA is expecting about a 4.1 bushel per acre decline in yield, which while we're going to have 5.1 million more acres. That production is expected to be down just a little bit from where it was last year. Demand remains very strong for soybeans, primarily in China where they're crushing a lot of soybeans to, to feed their animal industry there and, and uh, feed that middle class that continues to grow in that country. So we're going to have a lot of soybeans that are going to be grown here, but stocks aren't, aren't expected to grow very much this year, only up to about 480 million bushels, while that's burdensome, it's not nearly as bad as what it could be if we start to see these yields start to increase. But globally, uh, demand or supplies of soybeans are going to be down this next year. Stocks are going to decline. Demand is up, uh, almost 500,000 uh, metric or 500, 500 million bushels this last year. South American production is going to be down a little bit. Those are our main competitors on the global markets. Hopefully these soybean prices that we're seeing right now can stay in the $9 level, which is still not a very profitable level for our growers out there. It's we've still got a long ways to go before this crop comes out, but right now we're looking at uh, large supplies of both rice or of soybeans, a good crop of rice right now in the USD, on the books with USDA. So as we go throughout this, this year, we'll keep, we'll keep you updated on what this crop looks like.